lay the phone down on the table or something and sit down and relax. I'll leave. I'll, it says leave and then I'll come back in again. That's all I can do. Okay, then yeah. I'll see you. Okay, get her out later. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I think Joyce is on holiday. Is she? She has more more holidays than Boris Johnson, that one. <laughs> right, I'm just uh... I'm back again. What's wrong with that? Yet. Don't touch nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't just get your hands tied up and sit on your hands. <laughs> Get rid of me in the corner. It's different on the phone, isn't it? I haven't got things to press. Ah, you have to, yeah, you need to, the view. Um, oh, I don't touch it now. Hang on, let me, I'll touch the bottom. Right, what have I got here? You've got to find view and then change it to gallery. Oh, got stop video, share content. Past this, past this, oh, I can't it, say. It's past. usually in the top right hand corner of where of the picture of where you're viewing. Oh, no, I just have to leave it like that. I can't. Let me put the phone down that one. That's it. I've got you now, bigger, but I've still got me in the corner. I never mind. Yeah, well, you will stay in the corner. That's good. We yeah. Like yeah. Have you got Dave? Have you got Dave on the big screen? I've got you now because every time somebody speaks, it goes to them. Oh. Yeah, that's that's okay. It'll change later. Mm. It's just different on the phone, isn't it? <laughs> yes, definitely. So if I go, mm. signal's not very good here. I'm, I'm getting lots of calls and it just goes off. It's terrible. Oh. So, if oh, I go fingers crossed, I won't bother. I'll just watch it later. <laughs> <laughs> Got um, hang on, just doing something a minute. New folder, artists. So that artists, yeah, I got it. Um, I'm working in the background like a demon. Mm. <laughs> I'm having a, I'm playing with Nora Batty. So yeah, they're all very good, weren't they? Mm. Gordon, I must congratulate you. I thought yours was brilliant. I like yours too. <laughs> <laughs> they were all no. Yeah. Right. Oh, they're all, they're all great. Sorry, I, I've been too busy. <laughs> Can you see that? Yeah. yeah, Anne did a couple. Oh, did God. Mm. I think Nora, Nora Batty will feel quite flattered with some of them. <laughs> yeah, she went with mine. <laughs> well, I, I flicked through... Mel asked me last night, oh, I haven't seen any of the pictures split. I oh, said, oh, yeah. And uh, she was well impressed. Oh, that's that's Nora Batty. That's Nora Batty. Mm. I reckon G Gordon's got a thing about curlers. Yeah. He yeah. knows yeah. too much. My, child, oh, my <laughs> childhood was spent putting curlers in my mother and... Oh. And his mum's hair. Mm. Very good. Just fell off his microphone. Everybody else frozen? No, it was just you. Oh. <laughs> well, we are, so I'm telling him. Mm. <laughs> no, that's really good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That was Pauline. That's a good one. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's got that nice expression, haven't you? That yeah. jaw. The, the deep jawline, lovely skin colour. Mm. Some really nice stuff. Mm. Yep. You can find yours, Chris. Did you do? Where's yours gone? You, you had it on there just now, pencil one. 
I did that uh, in the caravan. Uh, that's, yeah. <laughs> okay, it was a bit. The photographs yeah, were a bit grey and bland, so I tweaked it a bit. Very sort of, I don't know, they, she reminds me of me Nan. <laughs> <laughs> sort of over the garden fence job. <laughs> oh, no, Mrs. <laughs> yeah, they were good ones. Um, oh, Pauline's waiting. She's poorly. Poorly, Pauline. Oh, she? Um, she said, yeah, she wasn't feeling too good. Yeah. So she's arranged, uh, well, you can't go and see a doctor anymore, can you? They, they ring you up mm. to assess if they can oh, decide what's wrong with you over the phone. Yeah. Um, but she said, if he rings before or off 10, she'll join us. Very good. Because obviously, you, if you're on Zoom, it's a bit awkward, and you? you don't want to, sometimes, especially if you're on your mobile. <laughs> yeah. Hello, yeah. Hi, Carl. Yeah, I'm in a chat with the doctor, and everybody's going, ooh, 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 really? <laughs> Whatever. So yeah, hmm. I haven't, I haven't heard from Corinne or um, Joyce. Who was the other lady from France? Oh, like crap with names. Uh, can't remember the name there. I keep no. thinking Colette, but now I'm thinking of Corrine. Corrine, yeah. um, it comes up when I send out the emails. Um, but it's nature of the beast. Mm. <clears throat> Shame about Gordon. Uh, Gordon, Malcolm, I mean. Yeah, that was sad. Oh, that was sad. Yeah. Yeah, he was such a gentle chap, wasn't he? So nice. Yeah. I yeah, I like Malcolm. I couldn't um his Astrid, his wife sent me a text saying that he passed on Friday. He said it's been a bloody harrowing week for them. Because mm. that was what all week, Friday to Friday, where they were sort of living in hospital really just sort of but she did say that um her and um i think malcolm's son stephen was next to him or you know when he went so it's yeah. good yeah. Oh, that's two george went as well mine didn't he? yeah when we finally do get back together there'll be a few empty chairs yeah hmm. Possibly. Mm. Anyway, don't get yeah. too cool, him. Don't want to d mustn't dwell on it. <laughs> I'm ready. Gordon. How's your little doggy? Is he all right? Went to the vets yesterday and um, the, the, the nurse had him, the vet had him on her. Like that really. and while he was there, I said, Oh, no, done his nails and checked. It. And uh, he was so, I wouldn't say placid, but he was so comfortable that she could do, you know, yeah, bits too. Right. <laughs> and um, it went on for a little while, and then it was like Mel was going, Can I have him back now? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to give him back. <laughs> just one of those type of dogs, you know, that is just sort of. You pick it up, and it's like having a bundle of. Fluff. Uh, it is a bundle of fluff, but it's so he's so. Uh, I take it. I get up. I don't know. Take him out in the garden, quarter to seven every morning, sort of thing for a, for his do his number ones or whatever. And uh, you get down and you think, because it's cold. And you think, oh, I'm going to hold on to him. Wonderful. <laughs> Yeah, he's right with the fireworks. No, you didn't notice. He was fine. Ah, yeah. oh, good. Those sort of things. I, when we had Spike and Elvis, Elvis was like your dogs go ballistic. Um, you know, just it, if any time in the house, if I was sat down and I wanted to wind him up, I'd just go and off he'd go. <laughs> 
any time of year. But Spike, he just sits there thinking, mm. don't like being happy about it, but he just sort of, what, what is it? And they were yeah. brothers. And I, and I, th- I don't know. I th- you see, it's just built in, isn't it? But the, yeah. what I was going to say, sometimes you get one dog a, a trigger the other one off if you got yeah. two. But with Spike and Elvis, it wasn't like that. So, but saying that, if the door goes, the bell rings, Spike and Elvis would both start getting excited. They trigger each other self off. But for yeah. it just didn't work. It's weird. 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 Well. weird. Oh well, let's hope you've got a lucky one then. <laughs> yeah, it is a. I notice when I take them outside and at the back there, and next door's dog barks or is being a nuisance. I sort of. He doesn't really go mad barking then, so I'm thinking, might be. I try not to make an issue out of it. Mm-hmm. I, I like the way that he works like not to ignore it but he recognises it's there but he's you know, all right. if I can keep it that way it'd be great otherwise those sort of dogs can be quite yappy mm. <laughs> whose idea was it to do a flipping tree rat <laughs> not mine <laughs> I thought it'd be a nice Oh, it was a challenge, isn't it? To turn, uh, that was the black and white grid one. I did a, I think that was you, a headshot. I think I sent you that. Yeah, yeah. Just a bit of a close-up, because it's... Oh, every time I look at it now, I'm thinking, what I've done on mine, I don't know. One thing I did, I did try yesterday, a little bit of a blurry background and uh, Naples yellow seems to be the key colour. It's quite nice. Um, I have got um, the last, our last meeting on Christmas, we're going to do the Robin anyway, so this is just the tradition, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Maybe a glass of plonk if you want. So <laughs> One of the things I, where's it gone? Um, this new Windows 11 is a bit awkward. What you, you're not seeing a Robin, are you? Hang on. No. There is one. I've got one here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Share that. Yeah. So I've got that Robin. Mm-hmm. Um, that I I got this morning, but I didn't get it for the robin. I got it for the snow on the branch because the branch is similar to the one on the the squirrel. So I thought, mm, I know what I'll do. I'll add a little bit of. Oh, it's snowing. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll um. That's not a squirrel. <laughs> yes. That's the robin for later, but we want the branch. Well, you say you say that, Anne. Oh. Um, I know it's going forward a bit, but I the robin that I was going to do for later, I'll surprise you, is an American robin. Oh, I thought that that'd be a nice change. You'd be fatter because they are they're they are quite different. Are they? Yeah, they call them robins, but they're not really. Uh, well, they are. The vulture, then. Yeah. So, <laughs> they, they're they like like most things in America if it's if it's bigger and uh, it must be better yeah <laughs> it's not necessarily true um right I'm going to swap videos <gasps> oh that's a nice picture Dave yeah <laughs> all the way from Argentina that one oh Tree rat. Oh. Bloody thing. But, uh, one fell out of a tree when I was exhibiting at Bournemouth once. You fell out of a tree? No, the squirrel did. 
Oh, I thought you said you fell out the tree. <laughs> no, I was stood there talking to someone. Oh. And I heard, and now I heard this all week. Well, a big, it was a thud, you know. I thought, bang, what the hell was that? And I looked behind, looked behind me, about, I don't know, four or five yards away, and there's a bloody squirrel fell out of a pine tree. <laughs> oh. You weren't very happy. No, that's where he was. Well, I, had, I had to do the business, but there you go. So it's just life. Three man all came in handy. Right. Oh. Well, what else can you do? No, I know. But like, mind you, talking of that, I used to, well, I don't know if I did, but I, it, I certainly considered, no, um, what's the word? Doing the business on rabbits over uh, on the marsh. Because every year, every, every so often, every, it was quite seasonal, they'd get mixy. Mm. Myxomatosis was prevalent. And um, you, you go in, you go around a bush and there's this blooming rabbit just... <laughs> stood there like you could see it was gone you know oh. so you think well put it out of its misery or anything. but it was I can't remember if, I think the dog used to get them anyway but um, it was later on I read up about mixed metastasis and a lot of rabbits recover hmm. they, they do look like bright eyes and all the rest of it but um Reading up about it, they, the American rabbits are immune to it, I think, and UK ones, they do, they, so a lot of them recover. So, I, I don't, you know, leave them alone. Then. You might not have been doing them a favour then. <laughs> well, it's difficult when you when the dog. Yeah. At that point, you could let the dog off the lead on the marsh. They didn't have any restrictions. And um, bloody dog used to come around the corner with him. It's a nice subject, Dave. Mm. Got to Dunk. do that. Change my microphone. I have, yeah. Right, I think I'm good. We are recording. Now, for a land. I'm back. Can you hear me? Yep. That's good. You see my squirrel? <laughs> I did all these flipping grid lines. I started to do a video, but it all went a bit pear shaped. And then I um I decided that <laughs> I wanted to move the the squirrel. Oh, hang on. I wanted to move the squirrel down and over a bit or up and over. So I had to, then I had to put even more grid lines to move it. Oh, so I'm covered in them now. Is that? A, is that okay there? Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Enough. And just to um, say, I've got, I mask, I just, I wanted to mask out a little bit above the branch bit. And then I, I thought, oh, while well, I've got it, I just kept going and put a bit around the squirrel. Kids used to call them squeals. <laughs> dad, dad, there's a squeal. Squ <laughs> I remember Elvis used to chase them and of course the squirrel runs up the tree and the dog just sits at the bottom going, well, how do you do that? <laughs> what the? Uh, I remember one day he actually came running back with a squirrel in his mouth. He caught one. I thought, oh, that's a first. Well done. Sort of, you know, I bet you're chuffed. <laughs> well, I don't think he, I, th I think it was already dispatched i think it already died he just found a dead one maybe not i know one thing elvis he was such a funny dog he used to we'd go around steamer point in the woods and what he'd do 
because we we only be there for a certain period of time, he'd bury it. Um, yeah, as we were leaving, he he he'd scratch a little hole, bury it by a post thing, and come back the next day and <laughs> get it out again. Oh, what a f- he's a funny dog, he was. yeah. So I've got that reference image to play with and a zoomed up version of the squirrel to, um, if you want to go mad on detail. Some of the printers, they always change the, you can change the colours. So one minute it's like really red and a lot depends on your ink, doesn't it? If your ink runs out. And I've got printed out the robin just to, I don't know about that, get a bit of snow. Anyway, background is the most important bit, I think. Easy, isn't it? Well, I thought it was. Very big. Well, I did. I did a, a version last night. And um, I just thought, oh, I wonder what... But the um, the yellow that I use is sort of a cadmium bright yellow, isn't it? So that didn't work. So this morning I just thought, oh, I wonder what it is. A bit of Naples yellow, isn't it? More, it's more of a a duller one, isn't it? Let, that other one's too lit, le, too lello, <laughs> too, too lemon. That's the other lello. <laughs> I'm going mellow lello. It's easy though, isn't it? Because I've used um, watercolour pencil on the background to put those grid lines. I'm just giving it a quick scrub because they'll wash out. It's clever, huh? I did the other week when I did it. I mean, all the years been doing this and never thought of doing using watercolour pencil. It's a no-brainer, isn't it, really? Because it just sort of dissolves away. Very good idea. Using a mop. It's not very stiff anyway, so it won't. Have I spent any money on art stuff? Like, Yeah, I did. So right. I was thinking to myself, I bought... Um, 10 sheets of two river, um, what they call it, or rivers. Two rivers. Two rivers, is it? That's oh, ridiculous. That's nice. How, how much was that? It was, I don't know, 150, 130 quid, something like that. It's a lot of money, isn't it? But good paper. Well, I thought. It will keep me. It should keep me going for the year. That yeah, yeah. Because if you think it's twenty-two by thirty inch sheets, oh, they're quite big. Yeah, full-out sheets. It was expensive because I used the really heavy one. I yeah. bought the really heavy right one. Yeah. The plan is that I won't need to um, stretch it. No. Even though I will, because I'm a twerp. That's what I do. Anyway, I've made it really wet. Really, really wet actually. Colours, as I say, light behind the dark, really, but it's all diffused anyway. I've got a little bit of Naples yellow, so I'm just gonna put a little blob on the side, see what happens. Don't need it in your palette because you don't need much of Naples yellow, you only need a little flipping little blob of it, it goes everywhere. And I'm just going to drop it in, see what happens. This is the therapeutic part of the picture, isn't it? Because mm. there's no, ooh, there's no right and wrong. But I think the Naples yellow is the one to go for. And it's the, this is that moment or that part of, of painting where you can use up the rubbish in your palette. In my palette. 
from last week. I've got a little bit of pinky flash. So I'll just drop that in. But autumn colours, really, isn't it? Not deliberately following the the reference image, but more as well. I've still got some me lovely blue, which is the blend of, well, I think it's turned into more cerulean type colour than ultramarine there, which is quite fun, really. Just don't quite know what you're going to get. Hopefully I can get a circle there. Drop it in, drop it in. Only trouble with navel yellow, <laughs> adding blue, it doesn't really go green, does it? So you won't get a, you'll get an off green. Goes a sort of a greyish colour, I think. Ooh. Wanted blue there. And what I've got is, hmm, let's go with it now. As soon as you touch blue into that ready colour, you get a grey. Learning, learning curves all the time, and every time you paint. Got some good pink, good um, subjects coming up. I don't know, I think it's next week, it's Mr Bean. I couldn't, I couldn't resist it. A bit of humour, a bit of light. Sometimes we get too serious. But the serious side is the um, expressions on the on the face, isn't it? So all that sort of thing. I don't know how dark and light I want to be. I don't know. Trouble is, it's a one, a one hit process. If you've got any green, you want to drop him. Do it. I've got a little bit of that. I call it Christine's green. Because <laughs> it's like last week. I was. I said, "Then I the reason I don't know what green it is because I can't. There is no stuff on the, on the tube. It doesn't tell you what green it is." Um, my only concern is that all the foliage is it's all going down. Just want a little bit more light red if I can get any to drop in. Lighter than even with this, you've got to think shadow, dark areas. Course. But in a minute, we'll turn it up at a funny angle. See what happens. That's, I think I'd like that to be blue in there. Bluer. Because you've got to think about the, the tree rat, it's going to be red, isn't it? So get it offset a bit. That do, I think. See if we can turn it at a funny angle, different angle. See if we can rotate it a bit. Mmm, these tissue. Have to hide all the tissues in our eyes. That dog eats them. <laughs> it starts off tearing them up, but it's actually chomping away on tissue. Oh, no. Mad. I suppose it's, must be something that it likes. Mm, excuse the angles. Oh, look at that. Big dollop of yuck went right over the 
squeal. <laughs> if you want to... Um... Add some highlights or something. You just use tissue to damp bits off. And get a small brush and drop more in if you want. I think I might do that. Find some darker, perhaps a bit of green. And see what green and yuck. What colour is that? Oh my god, that is yuck. That was a mistake. Don't I'll edit the video. <laughs> and drop in some green and pretend they're holly. Therapy. You can do whatever you like with this picture. Why not? I've got one of these out in the back garden. Watch it's not too strong. Just wiggle the brush, see what happens. Makes more work for me later because I'll probably look at that and think I need to make some dark areas, add some shadow to it. Seems to be working. Impressionistic or what? It's a side to me that I didn't know I had. Well, later on, we can all stick some little red. Well, I'll do it in a minute. Anyway, you get the idea. We can. That, that brain that you put on just now that you didn't like looks like a, a bat zooming in. Yeah, I know. I've got tissue here. I'm just going to. My oh, plan was that. just to get it rid of it. Sometimes things like that, they sort of, they work. Can you just sort of look at it later and think, you? That's the beauty of being an artist. You have to sort of learn to tweak things, or what's the word? Turn something horrible into something interesting. A rigor. Yeah, I've been using that rigor yesterday because I, I went like that to put it in the bed. It was rock solid. <laughs> oh dear. Good. Um, got loads of colours in this palette, even though I've only got one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, about eight. Mm. Loads to play with. That's all I ever use now is this little palette. I can't do that twig there because I've put um, mask fluid on it like an idiot. I don't know why I did that. It's just a bit of that that yucky brain that's there. I've still got it, so I'm just used the rigger. Just put some some it. Don't know if it twigs. I did it yesterday on the little one and I I remember thinking to myself afterwards don't put too many because it'll look hmm. interesting but it's a bit like I was saying last week you have to sort of try and think a few steps ahead of what it's going to be like later on when we had the because the main subject is the, the little squeal. So when you add the, add him into the equation, it will change everything. Still think, looking at it, I'm going to spray it again. Stop messing about. I've got a big bottle. <laughs> Who needs that? <laughs> Real I haven't set my uh, that's what you call a spray bottle <laughs> oh dear don't mm. care I just think it looks a bit 
can a bit namby pamby. So I'm going to add another watch of another round of colours. Oh, I don't care. Just needs to be a bit on yellow. Don't mess with that yellow. Bit of blue. Yeah, go on. Chuck it in. Got to follow what. Like I said, it's um <laughs> therapeutic. You can do whatever you like. Brown and blue. Blue, you idiot. Gives me a nice dark, doesn't it? So I'm going to put bats flying all over it, Chris. <laughs> Jackson Pollock, isn't it? Sort of. yeah, it's now it's starting to feel like a. It's developing, isn't it? It's sort of feeling like a pine tree where it's coming down. Let's try and warm it up. Of course, uh, the, um, the board I'm working on is what. 30 degrees anyway, tilted, so everything's running down the paper. I think that's better than it was. I think the green's quite quite a nice addition. The green and the burnt umber and blue give me the dark. Seem to be quite nice. I'll send you a decent photograph of it. Now getting into outer space now. Nebula. Oh dear. Just stuck my finger in a squishy. What happens if I tilt it again? All kinds of wonderful shapes. Try this side off. Two Rivers is the name of that paper, isn't it? That's what I, just I, got, I always get confused with Two Rivers Meat because that's the leisure centre down the road. Yeah, no, it, it is Two Rivers. Just Two Rivers, yeah. Mm. Well, it's, it's quite expensive, as you say. Just tilt that around. It's a very good um, paper, though. Yeah, but, and the, the beauty of it is it's double sided. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's, that's what attracts me to it as well. I just go for the not finish. If, if yeah. someone says, what do you want for Christmas? I'll just give them a link to a, some hot press arches paper at mm. um, Jackson's. Where did you get the two rivers from Jackson's? Yeah, that is their paper. Yeah. Their own brand. So you're stuck with that. Look at that. That's better than it was anyway. Blow it. That's Santa Claus. Yeah, it is a bit, isn't it? It's my, just... my telephone wasn't working and um, they reset it on. Gordon's just sent me an email. And it's um, chimes, I think they call it. It's quite yeah. Cool. Sweet. Yeah, I might leave. Look at that. I put all that paint on and I'm just using the tissue to take some off, trying to find a few hot heights, bright spots. That's one for Carol. That you can have real good fun doing this, mate. Yeah, I think I'm going to go in a minute. My battery is down already on my phone. It's going oh, to go off in it. That's exactly as you sent it. Thank you, Pokey Charger. But it's not near it. Oh, I can move. I say it's red hot, my phone. Oh, dear. These things. Sent to try. I have to sit on the floor. <laughs> oh, dear. No, really. I'll just wait and see what Mark Butcher's did with it. Ooh. He must have checked <sighs> yeah. 
Go and get the um, fine hair dryer. Otherwise, I'll never get to the lemon squeal. Yeah. Nope. Come on, It's a bit like watching paint dry, isn't it? Well, you, <laughs> you spotted that one then. Yeah. It is, yeah. Went everywhere that did. Well, no, it took a bit longer because I warmed up the um, masking fluid because it'll come off better then, doesn't it? Right then. Where's this? Where's this squirrel? We can find it. I need a big brush for this, really, do we? I would have thought so. Watch that. One thing I don't want is yellow. Put the yellow in that little parrot bit there. You mix up some... Look at the picture and just say, well, where are the light bits? Um, give it a little wash. So it's just sort of a fresh tone. Well, that's what I'm seeing. So I'm just gonna. It's funny, isn't it? I thought we got away from portraits. Mm -hmm. Oh. Let's go for an early lunch. <laughs> One thing I was going to do yesterday, I was looking at it thinking, might be prudent to um, just put a few dark markers on 
like where his toenails are or whatever the bloody things have. <laughs> no. Well. <laughs> well, I think I'll do that now, actually. But I, I think mm, I'm pretty confident. I've got all the colours I need in the palette. I think there's um, some sort of toenail there. And where's the other ones? Next got a hand there, a hand there, and there's toenails there. Let's get those going. And I'm looking for dark areas around. Not because it's the, the right way to paint squirrels. But if I don't do it, then I'll lose where it is. It's got a shadow claw area there, which goes into a shadow area somewhere in there, I think. If you don't put them in, then when you come to Paint it later. It's only, they're not there, are they? You get lost, which is not hard for me. Usual technique. Line of colour, colour, dab of water, see what happens. I was going to use the... Um, fan brush on that bit if I remember rightly or it crossed my mind just to see if I could flick, up, flick it up to create do they have fur or hairs I presume it's they call it fur wouldn't they? squirrel fur pelts <laughs> don't go there Used to, they used to pay you, didn't they, to get the grey ones? I don't know if that's still that's still prevalent. Depends where you are, I suppose. Uh, all I'm doing is looking at shadowy areas and find some darker ones with that mix of dark that I was using on the, hang on, turn that, another reference image here, just for a change. I'll add a bit of dark in, in his eyes early, but they'll be darker than that, wouldn't they? And there's a dark spat patch on the thin of his ear. Ah, this is like portrait painting. <laughs> it is, isn't it? It's the same similar sort of thing. Do you ever watch that um what's it? What should we do in the shadows or whatever it is? It's all about vampires? No. In New York, it's on BBC iPlayer. They've got the whole free series. Mm. I recommend it. It is it's just ridiculous, ridiculously funny. It's funny, is it? Oh, it isn't. It's, it is it is hilarious. Oh right. Well, it's sort of I don't know. Funny is the right word. It's sort of. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be a comedy, but <laughs> what shall we? What was it called? What shall? I think it's 
what we do and what should we do in the shadows or something like that. Oh, right, right. If you Google it and on iPlayer, it'll come up. Yeah. <laughs> and BBC Search. I, I use. I was thinking it was called What Do We Do in the Dark, but it isn't. It's What We Do in the Shadows. All right. Might have to have a look. You will. I'm, I can guarantee you'll enjoy it. And it, it won't make you scared to go in the garden at night. <laughs> it's not that type of... Um, I think I'll put in a few... Um, a few darks. I can add a few more of the... Let's say I'm just using a flesh colour here. To... Bring it in as a base colour, but that's the key in watercolour anyway. Or, yeah, more or less. Look at the, oh yeah, it's starting to come out. Still don't like squirrels. The boat next door keeps saying we got them in our garden. We've got them. Well, one's come back anyway after the builders. You know, we might have the odd one, but we, we certainly haven't got loads of them. No. I suppose all those years at Bournemouth Gardens, I was so used to, what's it, hundreds of flipping things up there. Yeah. Well, they used yeah. to cull them, there were so many. I haven't got these to use yet. All blue. I need to mix a dark colour. Just stick with my normal. <laughs> I was going to say burnt amber and ultramarine, but I seem to have run out of that. Oh, it's fairly dark. Look for what we do in the shadows. It's what, it's what we're doing with watercolours. That's what made me mention it. It's what we're doing painting, isn't it? We sort of... <laughs> Spend our time looking in the shadows. I like in the shadows. This guy likes the way he likes it. Shadows it. Dry dropping, dropping in. I still think I'm. Yeah. Got a sort of a bushy tail, isn't he? Let the fan brush dry and just tweak it up a bit. Seems my you can always spend three days doing a George and just sort of scratching it out and tweaking bits of each individual hair, but. I'm sorry, that's not my way. <laughs> well, it's not one of my... I'm not doing that. A bit of grey tint. It's um, just one of those things that I'm using cerulean blue and burnt amber and it sort of goes, doesn't go a black, it goes a a really dark, it just goes a sort of a grey colour that I'm utilising. Christmas time. Fish. <laughs> it's only just... Well, on the, the um, Bridgewater websites, there are... Last weekend it was carnival, so it's once carnival's out of the way, that's it. That's tradition there. Carnival's always traditionally the first first um, Saturday, first Thursday in November, and uh, that's come and gone. So it's down to. The C word now. Trying to get some. This is all back 
It's just like doing a portrait, isn't it? Just different. It's a furry, furry thing rather than a. Well, what's it? Well, I could try is to remind ourselves that it's a a red squirrel. So, got some burnt sienna and a hint of the crimsony red that colour. See what happens, shall we? Why not? See what I mean? It's just so, it's such a subtle red, red, it's, no matter how much you put on it, it'd be too much. Well, I think it will. Tissue, tissue. So, uh, that guy on Strictly, wasn't it? Len. Tissue. Burnt Sienna seems to be the, the nice colour for it. Mm. Anyway. So, could be a picture here somewhere. It's probably, the, like I said earlier, with the working for photographs and printing our own, on my own as I do, <laughs> get so many different variations of theme on the same subject. The print the prints come out all different colours. Bit of I think it's a rigor a rigor day. Get some more dark over there under his chin. Still looks like a rat. <laughs> Um, I think the. Can you lower that chair about a half inch or I think? The. Um, I think I, I did notice on the. When I blew it up. Their eyes, they have a really. I think it's their eye shape that makes them cute. It's a sort of a. That's really low. <laughs> um, okay. Takes it off the back of my leg. Point, like an overly shape, isn't it? With pointed his doe eyes almost. Mistletoe and wine. Oh, no. Don't go there. Once I start singing that, that's the end of the flipping. That'd be in my head for months. Well, all I can say is... Thinks, think squirrel. Um, what's his bottom tail like? It has red on it. Yeah. Just got a little bit of red left. Yeah. It's almost um, painting in the negative, isn't it? I'll put a bit more dark there. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I've got plenty of that squirrel red colour mixed up. Mistletoe. See, I can't stop me. It's flipping mistletoe and wine. Doomed. Did you do that Nora Batty all in watercolour chord? Yeah. Because it was quite strong. No, it's watercolor. It's, it's uh, if you have... uh, yeah. I've lay I've layered it. You know, put washes on top of washes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's Tony okay. Harrison's um, shadow yeah, color wolf. mainly. Say that again. Terry Harrison's shadow color. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well done. Yeah. I built the shadows up first. I'm just putting a bit of raw sienna on my squirrel on the side there. Raw sienna? I've put those. Well, because I've put like burnt, sienna. Um, burnt sienna and fleshy tones on it, 
I'm figuring the bit of raw sienna will brighten it up. It's very bright. For Warm it up. It's not a. Oh, of course it does. Yes. It's not a heavily damaging, strong colour, and it will perhaps add a little bit of glow here and there. Yeah. When it dries, we can always do a bit of scratching as well. Um, we'll see now. A little bit of that red together. A little bit, I said. <laughs> We'll give us it's just gone stupid isn't it just wanted a little a light a little light red so all i can do is mix it water it down a bit just it was just for under there so we'll just give me a little bit here and there this will turn on them one and that's here and there Shadow is ears in. <laughs> How cute is that? It's Bambi the squirrel. Bambi the squirrel. This is a very cute squirrel. Yeah. Well, the thing is, um, well, at some point when it's I mean, I haven't used that many colours. Just carried on from the ones from that were already in the palette. But it does give you um, all the techniques, you know, put a line of colour that I've just done there, clean water and just let it fizzle down. You can do that all over. These are ones that need a bit. Um, one thing I will would say is that um, it might be when it's when they dry these um, these sort of things. Not much help for you, Chris, but adding a, using a, a watercolor pencil here and there just smooths everything down and tightens it up. But you can't do it until it's dry. Just blend it all in. Same with all the portraits. Saying that, I haven't actually done it on any recently, but it's an, it's an option. And then it's just a question of getting a very fine rigger or fine layer of paint on the brush. I'm flicking in some shadows where his hairs, hairs are. But particularly for George's book, I suppose, and, and rather than that, uh, just scratch a few. You've got, there's plenty more to do on it. Probably, probably spend all these things. Days and weeks. Right, let's have a look at the um the, uh, first off, I think we're all Sienna. But the halfway point of the branch, leave the top half. Just for all seeing and neat to do it. Then when it's mm, it would smidgen of blue, do you think? Drop it in on the raw CMO. Just a few spots. Clean water. Water. You're not American. Say it properly. Now they say water. Water. What the heck is what the hell is Walla, water, it's water, not water. Common, colonials, it's a bit of the red to warm it up. 
I'm just going to make the underside of the twiggy branch thingy go. I think a bit more, a bit of green and blue might help. Or add a bit of green to it. Not really. Bit of Christine's green. <laughs> Be a laugh, that wouldn't it? Bring out a product. Yeah, Paint Christine's green. Yeah, so. <laughs> a business opportunity. I would never yes. What do you think? Some really burnt umber underneath where the snow meets the, where the snow's on top, isn't it? So need to get some. Oh, I just want the snow on the top. So if I put a row of burnt umber and a sneaky drop of red in amongst it and let it go down that give it another, another sort of shadowy colour. Da, da, da. Can always work. A bit of very good work clay in there. I think a bit more. It doesn't matter. A bit more burnt umber on top. Just don't want the snow at the bottom room. Really. Just sneak that white away. Well, you might get the odd fleck of a reflection. That's that bit the solid. Next, a bit of rigor. What do you use to? You get these small, small papers you only use, a couple of brushes. I've used that. Little sable number it says six on it that I stole from somebody. Michelle. That is anonymous. I ain't got a clue what it was. Just turned up in, in my bag one day. Now it's just dirty water. Well, I say dirty water. It's dirty water with hint of shadow grey. Terry Harrison's shadow, even here and there. What colour snow? <laughs> Terry Harrison's shadow, isn't it? Just put a little, few blitz in and clean water it along. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, it's just dirty water, really, isn't it? I'm looking at this quite close. So I don't I'm actually sat down doing this for a change. Beauty of watercolours, though, isn't it, is that as it, you're never a hundred percent what's going to turn out until it, till it dries. Put a little bit of extra on his toes. How do we know it's a he? It could be a she. Good point. How do you know? It's just a squirrel. It could be anything. Well, there's got to be some it. Right, let's uh, try and put a... a little bit extra here. Because their eyes poke out quite a lot, don't they? And he's got like a, a beardy thing there. More blue, more of a bluey colour, isn't it? Blue one there. Da, 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 da. Mm. Stop there. Don't put any more in there. Um, okay. All right. And he's got like a beard, shadowy thing there. That goes up there with his noses. Uh, take a edge off the paintbrush. Just speckle it in for now. A bit 
bit more dark there. One thing, um, the good thing about the big headshot is it shows you that there are, um, what colour was that? Dark shadow colour. Um, they've got whiskers. Like a cat. Yeah, lots of whiskers. If you get the, towards the end, you can see what I was saying earlier about the um, watercolour pencil. Because with if you get a nice point on it, you can just flick up, you know, some little dark bits like that that will turn into sort of hairs. It'll give the impression that they're hairs. George used to scratch it. It's, it's the sort of... I'm not that, that fussed about it, but I think at some point you can just get a fine bit on your rigger and just keep going like that, yeah, if you're keen. And it will gradually turn into a furry tree rat. Just keep putting them in. It's a bit smudgy, doesn't it? But hence the reason that you put them in and then scratch it out with a sharp knife at some point later. First time I've done, I can't remember the last time I did a squirrel. I did one once, and that was a winter squirrel. That was going back a bit. I think uh, um, Chrissy's going to have fun here because she's got the she's got the power of white, so she can add little white um, white fur and bring it all back. In his eyes and that, but I think just scratching it out will do. Hmm. Well, not too bad. I'm not. Na, 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 na. Bit more of that. Um, what colour trees? It's all the green from that. Twigs. I've uh, just stuck my hand in a load of paint. It's going to have to be thicker than I want it to be, this branch. Because of where the um, masking fluid couldn't get it um, really fine line. So. Got a big twiggy branch coming out in the docks here and there. Stand up, have a look, see what you got. No. <laughs> right. I'm going to add a bit of wolf sienna. I've got any left over there. Oh, you do. 
Just put a drop in there. Huh? Sainsbury's aren't coming till four four o'clock today. Mm. A little bit drop green on that, I think. On your river. Thing in it when you're painting, you're concentrating. You just you use the brush and then you just sort of throw it down without thinking about it. you're going to need it again in a few seconds. Put a bit of green in there. Something. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it does need. Classic. Use the tube. Oh, not enough. I'll do that. No, careful. Put a little sparkle on his eye. Well, that's not my finest hour. But something. Just can't seem to get the, the smoothness that I want. Maybe a little bit of extra flesh tone on there. I haven't put any whiskers on yet either, so that might help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Nah. Nah. <laughs> I just wait and see what you know. I don't know if you get absorbed. I know. I said, I don't think I'll come up with Stuart's this afternoon. That's right. Too red, isn't it? No matter what I do, I'll get in too red. Well, it's a red bloody squirrel, you twerp. No, but. You can, you can, we can overcook the redness. Deal with that down a bit. And add some more. Did Carol go or did she be there? Yeah, Carol's still there. Still here. Oh, brilliant. I think. I know she said her phone was getting hot. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, she has got. They do when yeah. the when you're on the internet with um like this. Oh. You're gonna have to look forward to seeing what everyone else does with this oh. little beast. Yes, don't think I'm looking forward to this one very much. <laughs> well, I, th I think I've, I think it's a, it's one of those pictures where you get so far and you have to sort of, well, in my case, in watercolours, you sort of, you've got to let it dry off and then come back and add some, mm. some extra details. Well, I'm not. I wouldn't say it's my finest hour, but I'm, I won't give up because over the next day or so, I'll add, add some more information. 
It's not a, but then again, it's such a difficult subject. It's just difficult choice is do you want to do it as a botanical study or do you want it to be a cute little squirrel for Christmas, which is all I was thinking. I think I think with the acrylic you'll you'll do really well. We'll see. You you'll get to the stage where I am like this. You can start adding a few highlights. You know, which I which I'll do over the next day or so that will brighten it up. And don't forget, um, I haven't done it yet. Um, the whiskers will change it. It will suddenly become, you know, once you put, yeah. um, once you get a really fine line, and where do they stem? They stem from there. Once you do that just a few few it changes it instantly they're not that many actually they're so subtle turn your tree rat into a tree mouse <laughs> but yeah uh, uh, it's one of these um, thank you it's not too bad. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I could do more. Of, you know, have a play with it. I should run over the I forgot I got the wheels. Yeah. He's forgotten. Yeah, but as I say, the. Um, I did try, and I still think that when it's, when it's dried off a bit, add in some raw sienna. When it's dry, it will add a, add a little glow. You can put a, like a, a wash of raw sienna on it just to give it that or, or a golden yellow. And it, at the moment, if I try and do it, it sort of, the whole thing goes whoosh. Hmm. Yeah. I think I've, I've got the gist of it. Mm. Let's just add a few. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, just no, just start, start. Wow. Do, 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 do. Am I off for time? Mm. Nearly 12. Mm. Blimey. Told you it'd be an early lunch. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Really like for me. Paint tissue. Got some. It's a very cute squirrel. It is. Clean tissue and find some Ooh, a few highlights if I can. That's um, that's what I was dropping. It's colour separation. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Such a such a simple subject. I don't know what brush this is. It's squishy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So push it out. It's a red squirrel. I like the one with the leaf. Though. I wouldn't think that would work, but it does. Yeah. Well, it's sweet. I was only two. You can't have two, you've got to have one or three or five. Very cute. I don't know. Not often I'm stuck for it.
well, <laughs> I don't know. I'm in sort of a, a quandary thinking, what more shall I do? What more do I want to do? Can add some more darks here and there. And then when it's bone dry, get the scalpel and just scratch a few furry, hairy bits on it. Add a few more goldy, yellowy layers here and there. Hmm. <coughs> I'm surprised it wouldn't We do, do. Well, it's only little. Mm -hmm. He looks lost in that big picture. <laughs> it's cute though. It's a big old world out there. Mm. When you're a squirrel on your own. <laughs> Say so you're drawing life size, but actually it's bigger than life size, isn't it? Red squirrels aren't very big, are they? Yeah, bigger than that. Yeah, that's well, I'm the loss. Yeah, but also, yeah. I put a bit of a board around it, sometimes helps me visualize what it needs, it just needs to dry off. <laughs> and have another little play with it. I think what I might do while I think about it is I've got like a rubbish. Mm. Yeah, I know. I've been using the same brush all the way through, but I've got a a little dry spot here. Yeah. On the paper. So I'm just gonna Add a little bit of raw sienna. A little bit of the quizzes green. <laughs> oh dear. Don't know why. Seems like the thing to do to make it look a bit like. Huh? <laughs> don't know, really. Cool. What is it? Sort of a leafy thing that's just floating. Take that off. What's that? Don't want to get that dirty. I mean, I made it yesterday. A little. Oh, it's all right. There's a. Yeah, that's blue. If I put a little. I'll do something with it. Thing on there. <laughs> Don't know if I needed that. Actually, pretty sure I didn't. Well, we'll do it. Anyway. It's getting all arty now. Sorry. <laughs> The squirrel's not as bad as I thought. It's, um, it just needs a little bit of drying off and a little bit of bit more glow on it. Uh, It'll be fine. And then I'll scratch out a few. Just by putting a little bit of raw sienna here and there. He'll try and find some light on him. And he'll turn out. That's a little bit up there. So it's being watercolour, it dries back so quickly. And so nothing worse than a cold squirrel. You could have a warm one. Just to say, I think um, just a few little. Oh, Chrissy's right. It's just a cutie. Mm -hmm. 
It's got some pencil lines on it at the moment that are that are kind of spoiling it. I just need to um, once I rub those out. Yeah, it's very cute. It's what you I want. Th card. Just need to push that across there. It's like a it's a pencil line there and a pencil line there. And once I've rubbed those out, it will look, it won't look quite so bad. Quite so interesting. Amazing when you put a mount around it, how much it changes. Yeah. Yeah, it really enhances it, doesn't it? Makes it look more. And a few dark bits of it. Nice. As it's drying out, I can start. I'm starting to see possible areas where it could be just tweaked. That's not bad noise. Well, I'm quite chuffed with that. I thought it was, I think, that, yeah, as soon as I don't even like squirrels. I don't know whose idea it was to do it. <laughs> it wasn't mine, I no. promise. <laughs> I think it was the teacher. Was it? <laughs> if you've got any subjects you want to do, shout. Well, I think, yeah, I quite like that. Oh, sweet. I just need to, once I get a few scratches here and there, just to highlight it, it'll work. But I can't do that while it's, well, the paper's like this, it'll, even with a hairdryer, it'll still be rotten. Yeah, good one. I think I do a few more of those leaves falling down. Yeah. You know, it's just, but, well, as it's drying, I'm starting to see. I saw that one there. Yeah. There's, a, there's a little thing there that's formulating, and it wouldn't hurt to perhaps those blobby bits there. And this. A little bit there as well. I think it's one of those things that's going to happen as it dries. Yeah, yeah. As Just it, a bit more detail in the background, so that it as they dry, there's a, there's like a yeah a little bit there. All it is is a little bit of raw sienna, and then drop in a little bit of blue. On one part of it. Yeah. Drop them in. Just use the colours that are in the palette, autumny, wintry type colours. Makes it look a bit more um somewhere contemporary type thing, but as it's drying, I can start seeing them because you're getting these like little dry areas of paper. Yeah. You think, like you say, you think, oh, that'd be a good idea. And there's a dark, but I think doing it like this, just as you see it, um, just put one in. It's a little dry spot there. Because I've got a funny feeling, Chris, that, um, well, if, not if you put too many in, it won't have it will have a different effect. It will look. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. I like it to look. I, I think it's it's better to leave it, making it look. Um, I don't know. I was going to say contemporary, but that doesn't really mean much to me. It just means of today, doesn't it? It doesn't mean mm -hmm. of now. And so drop it down a bit. Perhaps zoom out. Hang on. Yeah, looks nice. Well, I've got a big thing up on my screen on the computer, so I can't really see it from. Um, Yes, 
Yeah, the little squirrel's really sweet. Oh, I quite like that. Yeah. Speechless. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's very sweet. I think, um, yeah, I'll just lay him flat. He's had this big piece of wood under it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's food for thought. And he who dares. It'll be very interesting to see everybody's as usual. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, God, please, man. It's funny, isn't it? Uh, these, you know, they, you go through sort of ebb and flows with these pictures when you're doing them. Mm -hmm. You think, oh, I'm losing it, this is rubbish, this is garbage. And then after a while, it, forces, it sort of forces you to create, a, you know, have a better effort to try harder. Let's try harder. No, I don't know. I think, as I say, when it's dried or fallen. I keep saying that, and then when I look at it back and it dries off, and I think, oh, no, it's not too bad. What can I do with it? What's the, you know, if you're not going to improve on it and it's not radically wrong, then just enjoy the moment, move on. There's no point in dithering away. Doodling away. You, you end up just doing, you're just tinkering, aren't you? And then all that happens, and then goes in the bath and you wash everything off. <laughs> I've done that once or twice lately. Oh, a few times. <laughs> I told you we have an early lunch. Mm -hmm. Yep. See, my, my, um, it's like Nora Batty. I, the more I, I've been playing with this, and I, ever so often I look at it and think it needs a bit, of, needs a bit of extra. What I was saying before about these painting this way is because if you just take the brush with, it doesn't have to be wet, it's just almost just damp. Mm. It can sort of spread it and move it around, soften bits out, add little bits to it. I haven't finished a curry either yet. Mm -hmm. Gordon on you can just blend it and see so you can end up doing that with, with all of them. So it's out of there, right? Big flick of but there you go. Even that is a bit, bit damp. It's not wet. Oops, it needs to be to get rid of the there's a big blob of paint on it. Yeah. But what I'm saying, the only reason I mention it is because that's what we end up doing with, with these things, you know. Mm -hmm. So, how long, it, how long does it take to do a painting? A long time, really, because you can carry on farting around forever. Indeed, you can. And invariably do. But like I say, at some point you've got to say enough's enough and tweak it. Mm. Right, well, it's time I've got to move. You're going to doctors, aren't you? Too stiff there. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you next week. Thank you very much, Dave. Yeah.
I like the squirrels. Thank you very much. Yeah, the squirrels really nice. Bye, Hope everybody. You're going all right. Bye. Hope Bye, you're everybody. Going all right. Okay, the doctor's on. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Ah, just a minute update. Yesterday. Where is it? Okay. Just a little bit. Straighten up. Just tidied up a little bit from yesterday. I haven't touched the background, but I used I said in my video that I'd use in Got these um, watercolor pencils and tone ones. So just basically, they've got some nice colors in here, including white. And all I've done is I've just gone, gone around a few bits of the squeal, um, tidied it up, added a little bit of white. It's just a bit of white gouache like we use for portraits and just use the fan brush and just add a few bits of extra snow on there try and make it look a bit more wintry um what's the, oh yeah i've just used some of the pencil just to to red to walk on these little leaf things. God, are they berries? Are they leaves? Are they Christmas decorations? There are all kinds of things. There's one over here as well. So you can just, the pencils, you can be quite, quite canny and just don't want that too red actually because it'll attract from my little squeal. There's a little beigey colour one in here as well, softening things down. Just looking at the photo, looking for bits of light. You don't need to press very hard either. You can just sort of. You know. The other thing I did, I extended this branch, <laughs> this one here, down to the tree where it wasn't. It was stopped back there, I think. Stopped part way out. Yeah, if you get these pencils, you can just add a few highlights here and there. This is a raw sienna type colour. Gives you the option to add a few extra. Just tidy out this pencil line there. So I'll just go up to the pencil line. There's a dark brown, there's a black, which is really handy. Add a little bit of depth to it. Yeah, that was about it, really. I did notice on the front photo with snow branch where the snow meets the branch. It's a very distinct dark shadow line. I'm just going to add a bit more to that. Oh. The squirrel, I'm not going to. I'm quite happy with that now. I think there'd probably be a, a little bit of white on the edge of this twig thing. And just put a bit in with the pencil. That's what I said about the pencils there. You can just add a few, I don't know, it's, I wouldn't say it's more accurate than the brush, but you can press a lot harder and direct your little bits of tone, uh, colour where you want them quite accurately. For accuracy, of course. So you get the option if you just press it lightly and spin it round and round. You can use it as a sort of smoothing tool to smooth areas off. No, I don't really want to put too much in there. It's quite subtle there.
Oh, smooth things over. Voila. That's about it, Greg. Mm-hmm. Press too hard, it'll stick up. Did it in the paper being watercolour. <laughs> okay. There you go. Squeal. Another, another couple of large mounts that are clean. It's a bit rotty, this one. Or fade in that, get a more colour pencil and pencil of green, put some green watercolour over this, tidy it up. Let me zoom in a bit. Just no, you won't move. Anyway, quite happy with that. Crap.